Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can use Google Meet for video conferencing. Now Google Meet's been available for a little while, especially if you had a G Suite account. So if you went to a school or if you worked at a workplace that offered G Suite, you could have already have taken advantage of Google Meet. However, Google recently made the decision that Google Meet will be available to everyone. So if you're just a normal consumer, you don't go to a school or you don't work for a workplace with G Suite, you you can now access Google Meet and you can use it for video conferencing. So why did Google make that decision? Well, really two reasons. Now that so many people are spending all this time at home, video conferencing is just skyrocketing and the big benefactor of that has been Zoom video conferencing. Now you've had a lot of companies like Google and Facebook that felt a little bit like they've been missing out on the action and all these companies now, both Google and Facebook, are rushing out products to make it so people can video conference very easily. Uh, so Google decided to make Google Meet broadly available. Facebook's working on Messenger Rooms and getting that out so it's broadly available. Uh, so needless to say, Zoom has a lot of competition coming and companies are hungry to provide good offerings uh, in this space. Now secondly, uh, Google has also had Hangouts uh, as a video conferencing product, but they announced a few years ago that it's going away, but it's just kind of hung around very awkwardly. And now Google Meet is effectively the replacement for Hangouts where you could have video conferencing, you could speak with others, you could see others. Uh, so it was about time uh, that Google did this. Now with uh, Google Meet, what you could do is you could host video conferences with up to 100 people. Uh, you could see people on the screen, you could share your screen. Uh, so it's a very rich video conferencing offering and best of all, it doesn't require any installation at all. As long as you're using your browser, you could use Google Meet, uh, which is just a really nice thing. Well anyway, so enough talk. Why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how you could take advantage and start using Google Meet. All right, well here I am on my PC and what you're gonna do to use Google Meet is you're gonna navigate to the website Meet google.com that's the easiest way to get to Google Meet and once you're on Google Meet it's a pretty simple uh, landing page that you'll see here uh, you have a few different options that you could do the first one is you could just simply start a meeting or you could join an existing meeting with a meeting code so those are two ways to get into a meeting now you might not want to just start a meeting right now because you probably need to give people a heads up that the meeting is coming up and so what you can also do over here is you could schedule a video meeting from Google Calendar and I'll show you how to do that in, in a moment but the first thing I want to do is why don't we just jump into a Google Meet meeting that's a little awkward to say uh, so let's start a meeting here and so what's happening now is it's starting a meeting and I see myself on my camera right there so it looks like the camera's working uh, before I join the meeting what I could do is I could turn my microphone on or off by clicking this button that'll toggle it on and off as I hover over you'll also see that there's a shortcut key to do that which is control D so if I press that uh, that'll also do the uh, toggle it on and off that's something helpful that you could use within a meeting uh, if you just want to say something quickly you could hit that shortcut key and then hit it again uh, to mute your microphone again and here too I could turn my camera off or I could turn it on by toggling this button and when I hover over it you see that there's also a shortcut key for the video camera control E so I could turn that both on and off uh, and then I also have some other controls here that I could set before I join the meeting now what I could do is I could just join now or I could join and present something as soon as I come in uh, but let's just go ahead and I'm gonna click on join now so let's join this meeting uh, and here a very helpful pop-up appears it says add others share this info with people you want in the meeting uh, and so here you'll see a URL and what I could do is to copy that I could simply click on copy joining info so there if I click on copy joining info uh, it put it on my clipboard and I can now paste that in an email uh, I could paste it in a message uh, so it's very easy to get other people included in the meeting and here I could even click on add people and then I could type in names uh, and Google Meet will take uh, take care of adding other people to the meeting so it's very easy to get other people in your meeting so I'm gonna go ahead and close that and here I am on the main meet screen so I have all these different options and we're gonna walk through what you could do here so the first thing that I want to show is we're gonna go over and click in the bottom left hand corner on meeting details and here in meeting details once again I have the joining info so here I can simply copy that uh, and then I can invite other people to the meeting so just one more way to get other people into the meeting and what's very interesting and actually I really love how Google did this but up here in the top right hand corner there's an item called attachments 
Now what will happen is a lot of meetings are set up uh, in a meeting invitation. So it says, hey, at two o'clock, join this meeting. Uh, and there might be an attachment saying, hey, we're gonna review this document or we're gonna look at this spreadsheet. Any attachments from your Google Calendar uh, will show up in here. And a lot of times what will happen is people will be in a meeting and it's like, hey, look at that document that I attached to the meeting. And then you have to go back to your calendar, get to the document. Well, Google just brings them right to the forefront and they show it directly here in the meeting. So very, very nice touch. Uh, in Google Meet. Now what I could do is I'm gonna go ahead and minimize meeting details and I'm just go, gonna go across the bottom here and just show some of the capabilities. So once again, once you're in the meeting, you could also turn your microphone on or off by toggling that. Uh, this big red phone icon, that's the leave call button. I'm not gonna press that just yet, uh, but that's how you could end your call. And then here you could also turn your camera off and then you could turn your camera back on. So you have the ability uh, to toggle that on and off. I'll just go ahead and turn that on. Now one of the things that's really neat is over here on the bottom bar, I also have an option to turn on captions. And I'm gonna go ahead, let's turn on captions. This is a test of the captions in Google Meet. Look at that, it's actually very accurate and it's translating the text that I'm, type, that I'm speaking uh, very, very nicely and very efficiently. Look at that, uh, you don't even need someone to type that, it just listens to me and, and automatically does it. Um, I feel bad for uh, event transcribers because they're going to have a bit of competition with that. Uh, so that's how you turn on captions. Uh, it's kind of nice if you have an audience uh, and, and perhaps they don't hear you that well or maybe they're, they could read better. Um, or maybe you have someone who's deaf uh, joining the meeting. So kind of a nice uh, capability there. Over here, you also have the option to present. And so I'm gonna go ahead, click on present now, and you have a few options uh, within, within this menu. I could share my entire screen. So let's say I'm jumping between applications, that's a good option. Um, if I wanna limit it to just one window, I could also just share a window. And I could also share a Chrome browser tab. Now this is the best, let's say I wanna share a YouTube video um, or maybe a video that I, I have on the cloud somewhere um, or an animated you know, something. I could go ahead and click on this option uh, and then share my screen. So I'll just quickly, let me go ahead and I'll, I'll share a Chrome tab. Um, and so here I could select the tabs. I only have two tabs open, but I could select the tab that I wanna share. And if I'm gonna be sharing, let's say a YouTube video, I wanna make sure I share the audio as well from the video. So that's when you play a, a video, you want the audio from the video to play. In that case, I would check this box. Um, so here I could go ahead and I'll share my Google Calendar. And so there my calendar pops up. And a good reminder for me, Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. I gotta remember to buy flowers. Uh, so here I'm gonna go back into the meeting. And so some of the things that you'll see here in Google, it says that I'm currently sharing a tab and I could stop or I could share this tab instead. So a nice way to jump between the different tabs I'm sharing. Uh, here I once again have the option to stop presenting and I could turn the audio on and off if let's say I change my mind later on. Now some of the things that I also wanna show while I'm still sharing the screen, if I click on here, uh, this will show me that what's currently being presented. So this is what attendees would see. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and deselect that. And then you could also, if you click on an attendee, uh, you could pin the attendee by clicking on them. So here I could click on the presentation to pin that, or I could click on myself to pin myself. If I have other people in the meeting, I could also click on them if I wanna put the focus on them. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, let's go ahead and I'm gonna stop presenting for now, uh, but very nice way to share your screen with others. Now, what we're gonna do too is let's focus on the top right-hand corner here and I'll show some of these capabilities. Uh, the first thing, I'll click on the people icon. So here, this will show me all the people who are currently in the meeting here so I can see that. Uh, what I can also do here is if I click on add people, I could add additional people to the meeting. And over here on the right-hand side next to people, this is where I can chat with everyone who's in the meeting. So I could just say hi. Uh, and then everyone will be able to converse over here in the side panel. So I'm gonna go ahead, click over, and then minimize that view. Uh, once again, if I click on a person over here, I could pin them uh, to basically spotlight the view on that individual. So those are, those are really the kind of the core actions that you could take within Google Meet. What I also wanna show is some of the more advanced functionality. So I'm gonna go down here on the right-hand side and we're gonna click on the ellipses or the dot, dot, dot. Uh, it's called more options. And let's take a look and see what's within here. So within more options, some of the things that I could do is I could change the layout. So let's see what layouts we have. Right now it's set to auto. So Google Meet will choose the best layout for me. But 
There are a few different layouts. One of them is the sidebar where you have content, then you have speakers on the side, or you could spotlight on just the content or just the speaker, or you could see up to, I believe it's 16 people at a time in the tiled view. Uh, so you just see everyone's face at once. So kind of a nice way, especially if you have a lot of people uh, within a meeting, you can see them all at once. I'm gonna click on the dot, dot, dot again. You could go full screen. Uh, once again, you could turn captions on and off. And then there are also some additional settings, but there's not too much in here. This is where you could set your audio. So what microphone, what speakers. You could also choose the camera that you wanna use, uh, the resolution that you're sending and receiving at. Uh, and then there are also some general features, but there's not too much under there. Uh, and that's really kind of the core functionality of Google Meet. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna leave the call and I'm gonna go back to the main Meet screen. So here I am back on the main Meet screen, and what I wanna show is how you can also set up a Google uh, Meet uh, session through your calendar. So here I'm gonna pull up my calendar, and today it's Cinco de Mayo. Let me go ahead and click on here, and maybe I will have a, let's have a Cinco de Mayo uh, happy hour. And what I'm gonna do is I could invite some guests on here. Um, and what I could do is as I'm setting up the meeting, there's now an integrated option that says add Google Meet video conferencing. And so I'll click on that uh, and it includes a URL. And what I, what I do now is as I create this calendar event, so I'm gonna go ahead and save it. When I click into the calendar event, I can now join the meet. Uh, so it makes the Google meeting part of my calendar uh, invitation, which is pretty nice when I send that out to people, I could schedule in advance. Uh, so nicely, Google's done a nice job of integrating Google Meet into their other products. All right, well, that was just a quick look at Google Meet video conferencing. Uh, what's nice is you could join a Google Meet very easily. You just go to meet.google.com and you could create a meeting, you could join a meeting, or via your uh, Google Calendar, you could go ahead and schedule a meeting in advance. Anyway, if this uh, video helped you learn how to use Google Meet and how to video conference with Google Meet, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this, more tutorials and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this uh, comes out. And lastly, if there are any other videos, any other topics that you wanna see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.